Got a chance to sit down and pop a DVD into the old laptop the other day. Watched a film recommended to me. A film called Looking for Ali Brundy, directed by Kate Woods. The film centres around the protagonist, Josephine Alibrundi. It's set in Sydney, Australia, in the late 90s. First five minutes sees Josephine narrating, letting us know her place in the world. She doesn't seem to be particularly proud or taken with her Sicilian roots and family traditions. There's a big backyard family get-together which Josephine abandons in favour of going out with her mates. She's a high school student with big dreams, an independent-minded young woman. She goes to a really upmarket posh school. She's on a scholarship, I think. The school's called St. Martha's All-Girls School. Our narrator isn't a humble narrator. Early on in the film she smart mouths her teacher to put down a girl in a rival clique. Josie doesn't always get on with her grandma or nonna. It's new world clashing with the old. Josie's dad left when her mother was pregnant with her, but he's come into her life now. So, with the pressures of school, expectations and a somewhat strained family life, yeah, things are not easy going for Josie. I liked the hustle and bustle of the big Italian family get-togethers, several generations under one roof. I started out in this film not really liking the nonna, grandma character, but she grew on me as the film progressed, in spite of her traditional, rather narrow, insular worldview. Yeah. The motorcycle scene made me laugh and smile. She has rival romantic interests, or dual romantic interests. Josie clearly likes John, the well-to-do son of a politician, a kid whose future seems to be laid out for him. So pressure and expectation, which is one of the themes of this film young people dealing with that weight on their shoulders. And Josie's also drawn to another kid, a more rough and ready type, independent. Perhaps she sees a lot of herself in him, Jacob. A bit of a scruff. I used to look like this kid 15 years ago when I was 18. Josie can be kind of whiny and annoying at times in a self-absorbed way. She's very beautiful though, has a real glow and energy, fun-loving energy. There's an emotional gut punch about halfway through the film. I won't spoil it for you, but yeah, the uh, gut punch takes things in a different direction, a direction I didn't really see coming. Although, yeah, although she is a bit bitchy and obnoxious at times, Josephine has a youthful charm, an inquisitive nature. She's learning about her parents as fallible human beings in the film. And yeah, it's a journey of self-discovery. Anxiety and the will to belong is woven into the story. What starts out as a very frosty relationship, I guess you'd say, between Josie and her father starts to warm up and really bloom as things progress. 
they have common interests due to his career and her career aspirations and I enjoyed the way this work played with tension between the characters yeah sometimes just you know family tension or ethnic tension or even tension as relates to perceived social standing yeah the idea that these are the that there are these barriers between us that by that are by no means easy to overcome yeah and there's sexual tension and anxiety too it's actually quite funny in parts comical the film ends with a family get together as it started but a few loose ends weren't tied up so it leaves your mind to wonder and speculate about this and that yeah it's not a brilliant film but I thought it was alright some might be tempted to label it a chick flick but I don't know about that. If I were forced to label it, I would call it a coming-of-age film. The girl who plays Josie is called Pia Miranda. Well, she was 27, I think, when she did this film, so... Woman, not girl. I felt she put in a good performance, good range. Bubbly, friendly, sociable for the most part. Grief-stricken, angry and lost at times. So yeah, she can act, for sure. The film was an adaptation of the debut novel of Melina Marchetta, published in 1992, seven years before the film was made. The film actually won an award down under. Pia Miranda won Best Actress, yeah. So check out the film if you like. Maybe one for a Sunday afternoon. If it's raining outside, or you got nothing to do, you know, whatever. Anyway, I will see you next time, folks. Peace.